It is believed that tattooing has existed since 12,000 BC, and throughout history tattoos have signified membership in a clan or society. We enter this world knowing only life, yet death awaits us all. Using some of the most up-to-date scientific equipment, we endeavour to gather evidence that there is life after death. These are our investigations into the mysterious world of the paranormal. Whatever you have seen, whatever you have felt, Whatever you believe, there is more to this world. There is the ghost dimension. Tattoos are now more popular than ever before, and most have a specific meaning or purpose to their owners. But could these everlasting memories be leaving a mark in time, entrapped in the studio that they have been imprinted upon? Or could there be something more at play? Hello and welcome. This is Ghost Dimension. Tonight we investigate claims of supernatural activity that appear to be of a mischievous nature. This is Deviant Ink Tattoo and Piercing Studio in Vizakli, Merseyside. Since the business moved into these premises, the staff and the customers have encountered a constant stream of paranormal activity. A couple of months ago, a customer of ours brought in a small Ouija board, just uh, aesthetics for the wall. Um, Ever since then, we just seem to have had a little kind of a presence. Um, we've seen things out the corner of our eyes, we've heard things, um, things have shot across the studio. Um, I sometimes stay late at night to do catch up on some work and things like that. As I'm walking through the rooms, I usually tend to see things at the corner of your eye. Um, and I'm, I'm too scared to look, but I definitely know there's something there. This skull has also been reported to have moved on its own and one morning was found on its side. We've got a skull in the front, again, just for aesthetics. Um, it was fine. We left, obviously we cleaned the shop before we leave. We came in the next day, it spun on its axis and it was sideways. We checked the back, it was fine, no explanation. Hanging on this wall behind me is a printed Ouija board, which is securely fastened to the wall. It was a gift from a customer, and since its arrival, staff believe it may have opened a portal, allowing spirits to enter the building. As soon as it came in, the room we put it against, um, the girl, or the tattooist, had all the sharpies on the side. Um, that night, everything was fine again as we left. Came back in the next day, sharpies were all over the floor. very strange and since then just small things customers thinking they see something in the corner moving looking that kind of thing yeah whilst filming graphical shots for the show something strange happened in the studio and the actual bin lid behind this chair was flung off onto the floor <laughs> that bin lid was down the sides remember it you probably got it on camera and it's there now I move mean, and it's literally just Where is it? There is no logical or rational reason that we could find for the top to become detached from its base. Perhaps there was a spirit in the room wanting to make themselves known. Literally a stone's throw away is Kirkdale Cemetery, 
and it has its own ghostly tales to tell. But could some of its residents be crossing over and into the studio? This door has been seen opening and closing on its own, and during our baseline checks we can't find any reason that this could have occurred naturally. Has the Ouija board opened a portal to another dimension? Or are the spirits crossing over from the graveyard to pay a visit? I hope by doing this and getting you guys here tonight that we can just acknowledge maybe too if there is a presence, if it's lost maybe, you know, just to let it know we acknowledge it and to, to find its way. Um, I don't hope, I hope that we don't um, anger anything or, you know, because that's not my intention. Um, just, to, just to let it know, we know we've acknowledged yeah. Um Carry on on your way. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Deviant Inc. seems to have opened its own portal to the spirit world, and with the activity already happening during the day, what would Devancy believe could be some of the causes of this activity? Uh, so, first impressions on walking into the building is not much. It's quite a well kept building. It's clean, tidy, no cracks in the walls, can't hear any creaking. Um, I mean, there is the paint job looks pretty fresh, so if there was anything under there, I, I wouldn't be able to tell, but I can't see any reason as to why a building like this would be haunted, to be honest. So any noises that might be heard in here could come from a few sources. So first of all, is it's on a main road, so it could be traffic outside, just coming through a little bit distorted. Also, it's a, um, it's a terrace building, so you've got neighbours to both sides, with the neighbours maybe banging or just making just general noise that could come through the walls or something, perhaps what it may sound different to actually what it is. So in the main reception area, there's a skull on the wall and it was mentioned that one day when staff came in, it was actually turned onto its side. Uh, I don't believe there was anything, you know, demonic, haunting, paranormal. I think it could probably just be on the walls. There's quite a lot of false cladding and these vibrate quite easily just by large vehicles driving outside the building. So if there was a large vehicle that drove outside maybe overnight, it could have quite easily just toppled it. There is a Ouija board on the wall in here and there has been rumoured activity around that. But ultimately, um, a Ouija board is just a game. Like, I don't view it as anything more than that. It's just letters on a board. With the amount of rumours surrounding them and the amount of activity that's been reported to go on when people use a Ouija board, it's a lot easier for someone to believe something that might not actually be happening. So as to whether it is actually something spiritual or maybe just a psychological effect, Perhaps when you put your fingers on the on the arrow, you could by yourself moving it subconsciously without you thinking about it. But you know that's what I personally believe. Maybe there is something a bit more to it, but yeah, I can't say for sure. Over the road from this building is actually a cemetery there. As to how that could perhaps be linked to this is a lot of people like to get tattoos of loved ones alive but also dead. Maybe if it was a tattoo of a relative perhaps from that graveyard themselves it could be like an emotional connection with them then coming over to see the see this emotional signature that they're getting on the body if it is haunted you know let's hope that ghost dimensions actually do find something tonight so are we in for a deviant night of mischief or is there something here that's going to leave us scarred for life Tonight we find ourselves at Deviant Inc, a tattoo and piercing studio which has been host to multiple claims of paranormal activity, but with any of the spirits that we have encountered in the daytime, come out at night and join us on our investigation. Okay, we're in the tattoo studio, we're going to switch the lights off. We've got equipment all over the place, REMS, um, got a K2 meter and we're going to try and communicate with whatever's here and it felt a bit weird before so let's get the lights off how, how are you feeling? I'm feeling, uh, apart from really really cold I'm feeling like somebody's watching us uh, behind me there's a door behind me did you hear that? did you hear that? 
That came from in there like a tap tap. There was a shadow then. I was gonna say just before. I don't like it. There was a shadow yeah. like a caught at the corner of my eye just as we started rolling. But I didn't have enough time to say it, but it was like something passed through the door over I mean, there. obviously that's Sean's hand. But there was a shadow. There was, wasn't there? So you saw the same thing. Hello? <coughs> Is there anyone there? Whoa. Massive bang, wasn't it? Yeah. I got a rim there. That was going crazy a moment ago. So hopefully it will again. There's a rim just below the skull. And a rim in there. I'm going to try the uh, paranormal puck to see what um, we might get from this. So, let's try with who are you? Don. Oh, so who are you? And we have the name Don. Thank you. Well, that's a good start. Let's see. <coughs> Did you come with the Ouija? Board. Is anybody here with us now? Can you do that again? If that was you that just made those noises, can you make those noises again? Yes. It's like they're here in the room. Right with us. In the room with us. There's just a flash over there. Whoa, 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 that, that was, was a back. Let me go through. I'll go through first. There's a red on the floor. <coughs> oh, I've said. <coughs> oh. Okay, there's a door here. It's locked. It's locked? Okay. So it wasn't that door that we just heard. Does the toilet are closed? Is anybody in there? It's that black, pitch black in here. It's hard to see what you're doing. Okay. There's nobody there. What's around here? Is that a door? What have you got? It's a door. It's, just a, it's nothing. Store, store, storage. Can you do that noise again in here if that was you that we just heard? My name's Sean, this is Bex, we're paranormal investigators, we're not here to harm you or do anything horrible, we're just trying to find <gasps> out... You're kidding me? Oh, is that on camera? Just, can you just say it again? My name's Sean, this is Bex. Keep going. I heard an EVP voice, I don't know what that was, but hopefully we caught that in the play, in the playback. Following the response from the K2 meter flashing, we call the following voice on the camera audio, which we believe says hello in a childlike tone. My name's Sean, this is Bex. Keep going. I heard an EVP voice, I don't know what that was, but hopefully we caught that in the play, in the playback. Keep going. Keep going. We are not sure who this spirit was, but it was clear that it wanted to make contact with us. Perhaps it had travelled through the Ouija board as it was an open portal to the spirit world. Did you come with the Ouija board and bury 
Now, has this got something to do with the cemetery across the road? <clears throat> I was also just talking to Dee a few moments ago about what to do with this Ouija board because she's, she doesn't want it. Um, I said burn it and this is the same berry so I don't know. If things got too much, if things started getting very negative, um, any negative feelings, any anything that was a bit too out of our control, I'd have to get rid of it then. Yes, definitely. If your name is Don, talk to me. Talk into this red light. Wow, that was pretty good. That sounded like something over here. Can you move that skull? Can you make that skull turn like you have before? Can you do that for me? Did you used to visit this place before it was a tattoo shop? Do you know where you are? Have you come through a portal? Do you realise your past? Passed over to the other side. Oh man. It's not good. Man. No. I feel though, Bex. If we go back in there. Kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's like we're being watched. I feel like. You feel like, yeah? Well, as soon as we um, started rolling on the cameras, I yeah. felt that. As soon as I come in here, a coffin. What happened? Nothing happened. The meter go off. No, I didn't, don't know. Actually, I was kind of looking to, to where I was going, but it was like a knocking. See? Yeah, 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 I heard that too then. Just too do do do. Oh, fire. The hell is on the floor? It is. It's actually on the floor. God, you can't see anything, can you? It's pitch black. Just gonna go into here. Okay. Can you come forward and speak to me? What happened? There was a shadow oh on my God. the door. Where on the door? Mm-hmm. It wasn't you as you walked away. Can you walk away again actually? We'll just test it. Yeah. No, it wasn't you. It wasn't me. Because you coming back, that's the shadow that Sean's creating coming back, but there was a shadow. On that door. Whoa. I'm looking forward to seeing that back. The shadow figure that was caught on camera can be seen moving inside of the same room that the childlike voice was heard. Was this the entity from earlier or had someone else joined our investigation? Can you affect some of the meters? Can you affect the meter with the long aerial on it? You've done good so far on the K2 meter, which I'm holding. Like Sean said, we're not here to harm you. We just want to communicate. Okay, let's ask the question that we really shouldn't ask. Ah, you good round? Are you good round? That makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Are oh, you good round? Come on. If you come in with a Ouija board, I don't believe that. Ooh, what was that? Okay. Just. I bet I didn't get it. I'm hoping the screen might have lit up a little bit there, but there was a flash. A flash of light just over there. There's nothing that can light up over there. Can you tell us your name? I think, you know what I think? I think we're dealing with more than one spirit. Because, like we've just heard that sob. Yeah. I don't think that sob... As she was speaking that then. Yeah. Is a... Like a number of wince. 
Oh my god, that was... Tonight, our investigation at Deviant Inc. was so far alive with unexplainable paranormal activity. And we all appear to be in constant contact with the stream of spirits moving around the building. And with the energy levels now increasing, what more could be in store for us as we delve even deeper into the studio's mysterious entities? I think that was the doors. Which one of these? Yeah, I do. I feel like it's pointy, pointy points at that one over there. Like yeah, now put it. Can you pu push one of those doors? If we just heard you moving in this room, I mean, it's very weird because it's very close here. Can you push one of the doors open? Okay. Do you hear it? Tap, tap on yeah. the door. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, I'm going to put this K2 down and see if it uh, makes a difference. Okay, we're going to stay silent for 10 seconds and we want you to make a noise. You ready? 10. Yeah, movement. slight, nice slight movement. It was in here. It was like they were listening with us. <laughs> yeah. Did you hear that? Did I hear that? Dink. That was yeah. behind us. Or right behind you. If they're... Let's just head back in there. I've got a weird feeling about the specs. It's so hard to see. <laughs> and every time I come in here, I'm off. Wonder why? You feel, see, you're coughing yeah. now. <coughs> Is somebody in here? I, I swear to God, something has just tugged at my coat. At your coat? At, at the, the back bottom. of your coat? Yeah. They're just tugged at the bottom of my jacket. Did you just touch Bex? What could that have been? I don't know. Like the woman? I... I... I honestly believe that here we don't just have visitation, there's somebody here. I think, I think that. that was living here in past. Yeah, I think you're right. And uh, with the cemetery being so close, we could be experiencing a number of spirits tonight passing through. So we might not just get one. Might get multiple. Exactly. Did you pass in this building? And is that what... Did you hear that? Yeah. Bubble. That was a clear confirmation. That was confirmation. Did you pass of a chest condition? Yes. And that's what we are feeling. Respiratory. Make a noise, give us a confirmation if you did. Oh my god. Yeah. Just one more time. Did you hear that? Yeah. Whining. Make us a one big bang. Oh no way! That was like a cry moan. Like... We both could feel chest conditions while inside of the kitchen, and believe that the spirit may have placed these feelings upon us. And when we called out and asked the entity to communicate with us, we caught the following disembodied moan. Make us a one big bang. Oh no way. Was this someone that had crossed through a portal and into the studio, or perhaps a soul that had previously passed and returned to their home? What was that? Did you hear that then? A really, really loud banging just over here on this wall and now the rem's stopped. A really loud bang. Is there somebody here? Let's see. Did you 
just make a loud noise. No response. Let's ask it again. No response. No response. Three times, same question. Did you just make a loud noise? No response. That was weird stuff. We're in communication here with with whatever that was. I was just thinking, you know the moans that we heard before? Maybe that's what this spirit <laughs> died <laughs> of this chest condition. Maybe that's what he made or she made just before they died. Maybe that was the last noises recorded in this world into yeah. the atmosphere. And I'll tell you what's weird, you come in here and you feel different. Perhaps. You do, you, you do. You feel heavy. I don't, know, I don't know about you, but I feel heavy. Yeah, there's something going on here. I Can want you, your attention. Yeah. Can you make another noise? Make a clear bang? What do you want to tell us? It's like they want to tell us something. Have you got something to tell a loved one that's still present, that's still alive? Or do you just like this place because it was your home? It was clear that we had a presence with us that wanted to communicate. And both Sean and I felt there was more than one entity. So we decided to move forward with our investigation into the next studio and place lock-off cameras around the building, hoping we could capture some more of this strong paranormal activity. So this is the entrance room of the... Uh, the foyer, sort of the thing. foyer. Um, I have with me an ovulus on the desk and also a REM pod. We have a lock-off on the... Demon. No. Demon. Demon. Okay. You got it? I didn't get it. You get that. Demon. That's me. Oh, that's, that's you. That's, that's you. Okay. Yeah. Listen. What? Huh? Initial. Initial. Demon and initial. Right. We have currently got a lock off on the skull that was tilted sideways when they came in um, and already things are heating up. They are. We've, in, we've also got this room over here. It's pitch black, Bex, isn't it? It's really hard to see. Um, so we're trying not to bump into things yeah. so if we look a bit like slower on the cameras <laughs> because we're trying to gauge our movements. We've put a room on the side here. This is another room and this is this room is the room where the um, lady had a cup thrown over. Yeah. And the pens all did ended up. I did. That was a bang, wasn't it? When you were saying that. That's, yeah. That was a bang, clear bang. It's like somebody's trying to tap to us, like tap, yeah. tap. Yeah, tap. I agree. And we've had demon, which is a bit weird. Demon already in here. What's that? Uh, recording. So let's see if that door will open. So, I'm going to do a few different bits. I've got the SV7 and also got a voice recorder here. So, we're going to try a little bit of EVP. If I can find. Where is it? There it is. There we go. Is there anybody here that has come because of a Ouija board? Is there anybody that needs help? Speak into this red light. Give me your name, please.
our investigation into the hauntings of Deviant Inc. was proving to be very successful, and already we have made contact with spirits that are inside of the building. But now we appear to have connected with something more dark that claims to be a demon. Are you a demon? No. Well, it's not something I've oh, That was me. I yeah, just yeah. kicked it. The... Are you a demon? And there's something moved. I can't see the. the I can't skull. see anything going on the camera. Demon. Can you hear the footsteps? In here, yeah. This is weird. That is really weird. It's like it's giving us the run around. Yeah. Wow. There. What? No way. Bible. Oh my god. I don't know if we can see that. It's Bible. Bible. Demon. Initial. And Bible. So do we need the Bible to protect us? We have... Where are those uh, crosses? The crosses. I've got the... Uh, I've not got the crosses. There's a cross up there with um, Jesus and I've got the feather of protection. But up here, it's hard. I don't want to knock this off. Can you see? Yeah. It's this. Do we need this as protection? Is that what you're saying to us? on the table. Oh. Do you hear that? Yeah. That was a growl. Let's put this on the table. Yeah, put that on the table. Is that okay? <laughs> oh, man. It's like a... It's like a thump. Did you hear that? Are you connected to this portal at this Ouija board? Oh my no god. No way. No way. Look. Oh my god. Can you believe that? So it's a. Uh, yeah, that's a positive. That's a positive response, and that went wild. Followed by a thud. So whoever's here is connected to that. To the Ouija Portals, board. Portals, the, portal, the, the, the Ouija board's opened. It's definitely opened a portal. Oh my god. And you know what, Bex? Take it. I think it's let, maybe, as well as the nice energies. You know, because there is. They're it may have so let nice. some nasty ones through. Mm, mm, and potentially, nice. they need to be gone. Yeah. Anybody here that wants to talk to me? I just said yes. Who are you? Give me your name. Tell me who you are, please. Yes, a moment ago. Do you need help? Did you come with the Ouija board? You said you're a demon, you said we needed the Bible, so we've got Jesus, we've got the cross. Is there a nasty entity in here? that needs to clear off and go. Are you trying to fight somebody else in this premise? What's that noise? It's a noise I've never heard before. What? what was that? What did you hear? That was like a deep drum. But um, yeah. I didn't know what it was. I heard the weird noise, but I didn't know what it was. What oh, could that have been? Oh my god, there was a flash in there. There's a flash in there. Let's go in. <coughs> Horrible rooms, is it? There was a clear flash in here. Yeah. I don't know if it was 
somebody this light enough. Well, do you know, <coughs> it could have been. Hot's oh, outside. <sighs> Can you. Oh, shit. What the hell? What, what, What's what, happening what, to the camera? Why? Why? It's flashing. What's going on? I can't, yeah, I'm kicking the camera because. You can't see. See it. it uh, see, it's fine. I think okay? it's fine, yeah. It seems to be flashing. I'm just going to see what that is. Access. I don't know what's going on. It's just on a weird, weird feeling Hasn't here. It? When the lights go off in this place, it gets spooky and not very nice. And you can't see a damn thing. No, it's pitch black. How many of you are there here? How many spirits? I've just had something breathe in my face and it stank. Just said me. Something just oh, in my face. I didn't hear it. I felt the breath, and it was rank. It was rank. It was absolutely rancid. It was disgusting. I mean, you know, vile smell, rotting flesh, kind of smell. Who are you? Talk to me. Who are you? Are you coming through that door? That. What the hell did that just say? Sounds like say? an echoey. Hi, hello. Hi, hello. Is that what you sounded like as you passed up, passed away? No. No, no way. Did you hear that? I yeah. did hear that. No. Something was communicating with us, and we both heard a disembodied voice, which, when questioned, replied with the answer no. That. What the hell did that just Sounds say? like an echoey. Is that what you sounded like as you passed up, passed away? No. no! Was this the demon that identified itself before, or something else that may have travelled through the portal? Show yourself to us. Some more bread. Bread? Yeah. Whoa, 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 that was on the it is a radiator. It was tapped up top on this radiator box. Oh Did you hear it? Did. It went like that. No way. There's so much going around in here so fast. I think our presence in here stirred the stirred something. Stirred up. it up, yeah. Mm, I think you're right. There's a pot. There's something to do with this Ouija board. It's generated a portal. Yeah, this Ouija board. And what it's attracted the spirits into this room. Yeah. But I feel like there's a fight here between good and evil. There's something fighting to get through. Okay, got that breathy feeling again. Only on the back of my head this time. Are you moving around me? Sound it like it said yes again. Can you only say yes and no? Just 
do not like Ouija boards at all. I think they are totally and utterly bad news. And something may have come with the one that Dee has. At the moment, I'm not entirely certain if it's friendly or not. I'm pretty sure that just said or not. And mimic me. I just said or not. Let's see what I'm doing. Good will always win. If you believe in it, good will always win. Show yourself to us. If you are dark and you've come through this Ouija board picture, and it's opened a portal for you to this dimension. Roses. They actually said roses. I think this is because there's two, te there's two people here. We had to yeah. strength the demon before. And then whatever that was, but we've got no, something we've got else. Whoa! See, see. Did you wear the radiator yes, again? I did. Pong. Oh, how did camera got that? <laughs> There's a voice just came through then. Just as I turned that off, there was a voice came through and I'm not sure what it said. I have to have a listen back on the audio. Make yourself known to me. Tell me who you are. Tell me if you're from the cemetery or from the Ouija board. When we replayed the audio back, just as Paul switched the device off, a female voice was called that said hello. <sighs> Once again, another entity that had passed through the portal had just made contact with our investigation of Deviant Inc. The Ouija board seems to have opened a gateway to the spirit world, and tonight it would seem the portal was wide open, attracting spirits from all dimensions. Some good, some bad. <laughs>